It hasn't been fully built yet. Where are you in the process? So we're going to start subscale testing in the spring. And then we'll be ready to fly you and everyone else up to about 100,000 feet uh, come the end of 2016. And what was the inspiration to do this? Mm. I mean, it's kind of out there. No pun intended. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've been involved in, in commercial space pretty much my entire adult life. And so I've, the whole thing fascinates me about going to space and seeing the Earth from that vantage point. And people have been flying balloons for decades. In fact, a handful of people, about six people, have been up to this altitude back in the 50s. I think the first person that went up to 100,000 feet under a helium balloon was in 1957. So the idea itself isn't brand new. However, being able to take all of us up there is new, and, that, and that's what we're innovating. And, and is this, is this a, a, a passion? Is this a, mm. a profitable opportunity? I mean, what's the, what's the driving force to actually make this thing a reality? Yeah, all, all of the above. I mean, the, the market right now looks really promising. If you look at what's happening in the luxury market with people now wanting to spend their money really rather on incredible experiences than on luxury goods. So that's, that's one aspect. But personally, I'm really excited about the idea about going myself and seeing that, yeah, that of view. You are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's sort of the basic question here, right? Am I going to yeah, get right. back down? <laughs> yeah, right. So, of course, we're building in all kinds of safety features into this thing. Uh, I want it to be as absolutely safe as possible. And one of them is the power wing. So if you look at the animation we have on our website, you'll see that there's effectively what looks like a parachute. Yeah. And it is pre-deployed. That means it's out all the time. So you've effectively turned your capsule into a glider. So, so it can even glide if you, you down lose to the, the balloon, ground. in theory, the, the wing will take you back down. Yeah, that, that's exactly right. About, do you have oxygen? If, yeah, if so the capsule, the, the capsule is like a spacecraft. So it's actually, we'll be there. It's, it's actually a beautiful looking capsule. I mean, as we're looking at pictures, it's, it's a very attractive sure. you know, capsule. The designers would be so happy to hear you say <laughs> you know, that. I'm, I'm not saying I necessarily <laughs> want to get in it. What do you think, Trish? I, I, think it's, I think it's very, very cool. So, you know, Richard Branson uh, has been on the show many yes. a time, um, and he's all excited about Virgin Galactic yeah. and, and what they're doing there. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars, though, versus your seventy-five thousand dollars. How are you able to undercut the price so much? Well, it's a very different thing, right? I mean, he, he is using rockets. Right. Um, it's an incre incredibly You're different using experience. Yep. We're using a helium balloon, <laughs> so so in many ways, it's much simpler. Uh, but it gives you a very different experience. So well, you Jane, can go up there and be up there for hours. Maybe Sign next time up. we do this interview, it'll be in one of your capsules. Thanks for joining us, Jane. Wouldn't that be fun?